Well that's a silly way for Gallius to be standing. Hello everybody, my name is Parak and in today's video I was asked to play some of the Hunting Horn, so that's what I'm going to do. Here is my current build for the Hunting Horn. I don't recommend this to many people because it's somewhat difficult to use and a lot of people just prefer to use Dragon Conversion, which is fine. Here is my Talisman, it's an Attack Boost 3, Element Exploit 1 with 3 2 slots and all the skills and decorations as you can see. All the green numbers are from decorations. And for today's video, the wield shows a seething basil geese, so that's what I'm going to go fight. Alright, so with my build, I, I immediately need to swap scroll, because I gain extra stun power, raw, and element damage. And they're all pretty, pretty good to have. I definitely recommend it. Um, we're going to hop over to him as soon as we can. Try land a green note in the air. Then a blue into a red. And then we're going to soak by shockwave. Play a blue into a recital. There we go. Get that buff active. I do have, uh, what's it called? Intrepid Heart on today. I lost about, like, 5% element. So you can do quite a bit more with this build if you want it. With your preferred one, at least. Uh, but I like to have Intrepid on my Hunting Horn builds. I had no idea that bomb was there. I'm not even gonna lie. I also forgot to restock, apparently. But that's okay. Dodge that. Um, we've also got the dog out today. He is there purely because he has really good synergy with Hunting Horn. As you'll see, once I can actually get some damage rolling. Um, he does a lot of damage with your Magnificent Trios. Even though you generally don't want to spam it with this kind of a build at least, because you will run out of sharpness very quick, because there's barely any uh, sharpness management on this build. Oh, roll through that in the slam. Okay, hopefully there's none on that wall. I've had it hit me while there's no, like, visible uh, bomb in that wall. I was quite un unhappy with that one, to say the least. Okay, we've got a Infernal ready. I'm just waiting to see what he does here, because it is still an anomaly. Um, I don't expect to get the damage check with this lad purely because of how many attacks that he has that gets you away from him. So I'm just being fairly cautious here, learning what damage I can, of course. Just doing basic combos until my dog gets powered up, and then we can send a Magtrio Infernal. That will be a huge jump in damage. Okay, let's just zip one shockwave that. Dodge that as well. Uh, let's go to the tail here and send it. He recoiled into it, thankfully, which is great. Into that. Nice, we got a check. Let's do some optimal combo. For raw, that is. Just on the face here. Does some very, very good damage. Nice, there's our stun. That extra stun power definitely helps out, because it is quite hard to get the, uh, the stuns in anomalies. Let's put up a mag trio, because my dog's in spinning mode. Hopefully he spins pretty soon. Uh... If only it would spin a little bit earlier. It's probably my only complaint with the spinning dog. They spin so late sometimes. Quick green note. Okay. I do need Silkbone Shockwave active again. Finally got some Anomaly Blight. Okay. So he's like stomping attacks there. One of the only ones that give Anomaly Blight. It's obviously pretty nice to have. I hyper armored there just in case he hit me anyway, because I've had that hit me so many times. Roll through it. Oh, that's a bad use of Intrepid, but okay. My dog's in spinning mode, that's why I sent that. Okay, that works. Build up another Mag Trio. Do a left swing, and then smack him in the face a bit. Just some good damage on the head. Oh, 723, not bad at all. Spin it here, because we got Infernal. Or not, it's fine. Put the weapon away for a second here. Just relax. While he wastes some time. We get to hit him there. Put up another mag trio. Quick spin. Uh, I'm going to sharpen here. Hopefully my Silkman Shockwave ticks didn't ruin this potential mount. But we'll see in a second. Looks like we're pretty good. Okay. Hopefully we got a Starburst Beetle. That'll give us an extra stun really easily. Uh, and we do not. That's fine. Because that stun threshold is quite difficult to reach. Most of the time. Immediately spin it. Do I have a shockwave? No, I don't. It would have just run out, sadly. That's okay. We got the damage out. Uh, he went to attack immediately. That's unfortunate AI. Sook one shockwave. Okay, we staggered him. Cool. I didn't want to deal with that damage that he was about to deal to me. 
Nice, Sue, there's a second break. Because we had a lot of time with him, essentially. Uh, my dog's so far away, but we'll try to get him to move a bit closer. No, oh, he's hitting the tail, that's fine. Dealing some nice damage back there. Very, very good. Put up another one. Left swing. Ah, didn't reach. That's fine. Bit sketchy that I didn't restock, but it happens. Get another one. Again, get that dog spinning as much as I can. Because you can force him to do that. That's why it's so strong with some builds. Did a backswing just to try and get away from whatever it was doing. That's going to hurt. Okay, it didn't start on top of me, thankfully. So that's all good. Trying to get over to hit that green cloud. Okay, that was a great hitbox there, Basil. Lovely, lovely. Right, what are we doing, bud? Nope. Oh, another wasted Intrepid. I should have just hyper armored because I knew that attack would give me Anomaly Blight, which is much better than obviously getting hit for nothing there. Dodge that. Get another hit. Okay, dodge again. Please stop choosing that. Ah. Uh, okay, thank you. I don't have a wire bug because I've wasted two of them rapidly. But Ibuki's got me back here. Should be able to get it. Hopefully. I was going to say, buddy, I, I gave you so many choices there. That's okay. Let's get a mag trio. I already have one ready, but that's fine. Dog is not in spin mode, so we're just going to do regular damage. No stagger. And he's wasting time again. That's fine. Do expect to fail a damage check, just because of things like this, but we'll see. Completely fine with me. Some swings on him while he roars. Uh, we could also be doing mag trios to build up uh, Intrepids. That's a good option as well, if you want to be a bit safer with your hunting horn usage. That's definitely a, a good way to go about it, just to do that as often as you can to get some Intrepid built up. Infernal, nice zoo. Damage on the face. Yep, as I said, we should be getting close to failing the check because he's wasted quite a bit of time. So I'm going to go for this pip back here. Uh, I think it's on his other wing. That's why, yeah, you can see it back there. Unfortunate. Another Super Punch Shockwave. Oh, that sucks. Oh, get out of there. Thank you, Intrepid. It's a, it's a good skill. <laughs> Love Intrepid Heart. Smack him in the nose. I am waiting for him to pop, though. There it is, I knew it. Oh, the wind pressure, why? Okay. Yeah. As I said, I fully expect him to do this. No matter how much damage I'm doing, if you can't particularly hit the monster that often, like if it's a monster that has so many attacks where it's like, get away from me now, it's, it's not most ideal thing to fight as an anomaly, purely because it does that. Obviously, if you're using a faster weapon, you can keep up with him. But generally speaking, it's kind of annoying. Oh, that's going to suck, isn't it? Okay, he didn't do the follow-up. I didn't roll there because I was worried that there was bombs beside me. Because that's definitely happened quite a few times in the past. One hit. Okay, slam. Cat got me with a heal. Nice, Sue. Smack him in the nose. Try to pop that zit. There we go. He's blue. Not bad. Okay, slam. Ah, yep. Just gonna come back over here. Should stop there. There we go. Get some damage. Oh, we get the spin. He took a second. Maybe Infernal as well, because we got Intrepid. Big damage. Oh, that sucks. Oh, oh. Okay. The bombs actually stopped it for once. Or his scales. Whatever you want to call it. Go towards him. Green. Red, blue, big damage, and we get our triple notes ready. My dog is not in spin mode, but that's fine, it didn't matter. 848, not too, too bad. I've definitely had a lot faster seething basils, but was with weapons that can lock him down a bit better. Well, everybody, that was some more Hunting Horn gameplay, this time against the level 300 seething basil geese. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one.